with our koalas. This is Rini Mom and her baby Hope. And unfortunately, Hope just got to go out on exhibit right before we had to close the zoo. So I'm gonna give you a little inside scoop about her. Koalas, first of all, are not bears. He, his name is Hope, was named originally to help with the Australian fires, to give inspiration to those firefighters out there fighting those catastrophic fires in Australia. But now Hope has kind of taken on a different name. Hopefully, Hope will inspire all of us to get through all of this safely and healthy so we can get back to normal. Koalas are marsupials. They are not bears. You always hear koala bear. That's not correct at all. They're marsupials. As marsupials, they have a very short pregnancy. Hope was actually born way back in May, but he was born after only about a 30, 35 day pregnancy, about the size of a jelly bean. Goes into the pouch and the pouch acts like a secondary uterus where he starts growing in that pouch for about five to six months until he finally comes out and shows his face. And then you see this baby koala. So he's actually getting now close to about three quarters of a year old, going to be a year old in May. Koalas feed strictly on eucalyptus. So they have all different types of eucalyptus leaves here. It is a toxic plant to most animals. Their digestive system allows them to eat it, but it causes them to be very lazy, very slow. So they only move around very few hours during the day. Out of 24 hours, they're probably sleeping or sort of sleeping about 18 hours of the day. Now, when Hope first came out of the pouch, he rode on Winnie's chest. But now as he's gotten larger, he rides on her back. And now he's starting to venture away from her back and starting to explore a little bit more on his own. As you can see, sleep is a major part of their day. Uh, generally speaking, they don't vocalize, but the males, when they come around for courtship, they make a bellowing sound. They kind of go, it's kind of like to attract the female during courtship. Otherwise, they're normally solitary unless mom is with baby. Hopefully when we reopen, you'll be able to come and see Hope and Rini. Hey, I'm Ron McGill here in my office at Zoo Miami. I hope you're enjoying Zoo Academy. And listen, if you've got any questions regarding any of the things you see on any of the segments, please email them to education at zoomiami.org. And hopefully I can get to some of them in future segments and give you some good answers. We'll see you around.